Hey everyone, so in this video I'm going to share with you four strategic tips for fast piano progress. I'm on Roosevelt Island now, hanging out with these, I think they're keys or something. And on this channel, hope to share with you strategies, mindsets, frameworks, etc. that'll help you in your piano playing and hopefully a bunch of other things as well. So the first one is just to keep things simple. So as you use a new strategic idea, such as, for instance, just playing from first beat of one measure to the first beat of the next one, like first beat of measure one to first beat of measure two, include that first beat of the following measure, right? And then you can play from first beat of measure two to first beat of measure three, include the first beat of the following measure. So that's a new idea. I would keep it simple. I wouldn't try to add lots and lots of different tips simultaneously. Just focus on getting this one thing going first and make sure that you're doing it correctly before you start adding other things on top of that. I, would, I think of them as spinning plates, right? You get the one plate spinning and it's only when you're sure that this is stable that you'll start adding another spinning plate or other spinning plates from there. Second thing would be to start with what is easiest. And I'm not even talking about from the point of view of habit research, because when you're doing something new, you don't have the benefit of it having gone on for some time already. So just start with whatever takes the least resistance. So for instance, what I just described, playing from first beat of measure one to first beat of measure two, playing from first beat of two to first beat of three, etc. If that sounds like an easy thing for you to implement, start with that first, right? So you're both doing just one new thing and it's also the one thing that is easiest for you. If writing all of the fingering, if that is the easiest thing for you, then that could be the one thing you start doing first, right? So those are basically the first two tips combined. Choose the thing that is easiest for you to do, right? That's the second tip. And then combine with the first, just do that one thing first until you make sure, you know, make sure that it's good before you start adding other things. The third thing, I talk about this a lot on the channel, is the layering of strategy. So this is where a lot of other channels stop, I think, or a lot of other advice stops. Once you have that thing going, make sure you continue to keep it going and then begin adding other things on top of it, such as spaced repetition, such as interleaving, such as adding a reverse. Um, I talk about rule of expansion, rule of transition, trying to like play over it or something. So if you search on the channel for like 14 layers of strategy as applied to river flows and you, I've got a lot of different ideas, uh, you know, all my videos. So you can start, you know, I got this one thing going, now I'm gonna take one of the other ideas, for instance, on this channel, and then combine the two together. Now I've got two layers going. Now I can take another idea, such as, um, you know, spaced repetition. Now I have three things going, right? So begin layering, and each time make sure that those plates are stable before you add new ones. And the amount of time, it, it can be variable. So, so experiment to find out what's best. If things go wrong, then you can go back to just spinning the one plate and then build up again from there. And then, I'd say the fourth thing is to preserve quality. This is really important. So I know in the videos, I saw us talk about fast piano progress. It is also quality piano progress. It doesn't matter if you play first beat of one to first beat of two, first beat of two, first beat of three, if you use spaced repetition, if you write all the fingering, if your playing isn't actually good. Now, what actually constitutes good? That is, of course, a very subjective thing. Even teachers have to give their subjective evaluation in the end, weigh the pros and cons, decide whether this is good enough for this student at this time. But you know, in general, I would say correct notes, correct rhythm, correct fingering, stable tempo, you know, you're not speeding up, slowing down, constantly stopping. And you know, it's, it's just kind of nice and solid and confident. It doesn't feel like you're just walking on eggshells. Anyway, hope you found this helpful. Hope you can still hear me over this noise that's started. If you found this helpful, please like and subscribe, let others know, let others know about the channel, and look forward to the next one.